Okay, Kyle requested uh, a quick video on compound inequalities and absolute value ones, so I thought I'd provide that as requested. And go back to the beginning. Um, for this first section, uh, we have what's a uh, absolute value inequality. You can tell because it's got the lines mentioned, uh, or the lines showing that it's absolute value. When I have absolute value, I have to solve really two problems at the same time. Uh, I'm solving one that keeps the absolute value as it's shown with the inequality and number the same. So for this first one, I'm going to do 1 minus 2x is less than 3. On the flip side of that, I'm going to do the same thing inside the absolute value, otherwise it's no longer absolute. But I'm going to flip the inequality, so it went from less than to greater than, and I'm going to change the sign. From here, it's pretty much just a simple solving problem. Uh, instead of uh, plus 1, I'm going to subtract. Remember, you look at the sign that's in front, so this will be plus 1, so I'm going to subtract 1. Uh, 3 minus 1 is 2, and then I just divide by a negative. When I divide by a negative, I need to flip over that inequality so it becomes greater than, and x is greater than negative 1. On the other side, I'm really doing the same thing. It just ends up with a different answer because of the negative 3 thing. Once again here I'm dividing by negative 2 and I get x is less than positive 2. So to, sol uh, to graph these, the first one I'm going to make a circle at 2 and it's unfilled and it goes less than so it's going to go in the less than direction. For the other one, x is greater than negative 1. I go to negative 1, make a circle, don't fill it in, and it's greater than. So I end up with this nice barbell solution. So that's all you have to do for that one. Let's look at another one. So for this one, same thing. I just need to make sure when I have an absolute value that I keep the idea inside the inequality or the absolute value signs absolute so it stays the same. I write 2 and minus 2 down twice. For the first one I treat it just like the problem shows what it is, less than 8. On the other side I do greater than negative 8 and from here I'm just solving equations. Add 2, that goes 2n is 10, divide by 2 this is a positive number so I'm going to slide this down. n is less than 5. On the other side, I'm going to divide by 2, and I'm dividing by a positive here so I don't need to flip it over. n is greater than negative 3. So because these show greater than, not greater than, equal to, I'm going to make a circle at negative 3, and I'm going to make one at positive 5. This says that n is less than 5, and n is greater than negative 3. So the negative 3 would go up, somewhere in this direction. The 5 would go down, and it makes kind of that barbellish sort of look that we've been looking for. So that's the solution to um, absolute value inequalities. And uh, I'll make one more video after this to show you what it looks like if we're doing um, inequalities that, have, uh, com that are compound.